So, um, first, uh, let's look into uh, what color was it? What color was my function? Ah, green. Ah, all right. Uh, let's look at uh, polynomial function. Yeah, what is? You are going to see this often, especially in your um, uh, math two. Okay. Functions. Okay. Um, so what are polynomial functions? It's basically it looks like this. Uh, any polynomial function will look like this is the general form. Yeah, f x equal to um, some coefficient. Oh, let me try that. Different type. Uh, okay, coefficients a n, uh, a n minus one, uh, a n minus two, dot 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 a one, a not. Okay. Uh, it look like this a x n plus x to the power of n minus 1 plus x to the power of minus n2 plus but continuing until x1 plus uh, a0 so um, these are called um, coefficients Co f I don't know how to spell oh I'm spelling correct Coefficients, okay, the blue ones, these are all coefficients. Okay, so what we are looking at is basically we are looking at uh, um, this whole thing as well. You know, some of these coefficients might be zero, but it has to be real numbers. And uh, x, x are all in uh, in real number. So in real number, we usually use this symbol right here. So L means real number okay you might see it often from now on okay so um, the most common um, I think uh, 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 common types of polynomials common, type, common types you have heard of quadratic yeah quadratic functions quadratic means the highest degree of um, uh, your uh, polynomials is 2 okay so you might have something like this um, uh, x squared uh, plus uh, x1 or sometimes you don't do you don't do the one okay okay sometimes a b plus c okay so this is quadratic functions uh, before that let me see if I'm starting oh yeah I'm recording this okay a x so why we call it quadratic is because the the highest degree here this is called degree quadratic means degree 2 okay the highest degree of this polynomial is 2 you might have something what you call cubic function. So if you know cubic function, okay, is when you have a x cube. The highest uh, degree in the polynomial is to the power of three. Okay. So this is cubic function, and in this case, um, the the highest the, why we call it cubic because the highest degree is uh, three. Uh, you might have something uh, the names like quintic you know <laughs> quintic what else uh, I don't even know what else, but the most popular one is uh, quadratic and cubic quintic I think is five if I'm not mistaken okay but we're not looking into that because those are a higher degree polynomials are really hard to 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 well to analyze really um, uh, you have to use computers to do stuff. So let's look at quadratic function. I know you are really familiar with this. So quadratic function, yeah? Quadratic function. Oh, that's a that's an ugly line. Okay. Um oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me uh, not do that. Um let me talk about roots. Okay. Usually when we talk about polynomial functions the usual uh, analysis is to find the roots 
find the roots of polynomial. Okay, so what does it mean? A root okay, is a value x. I'm going to name this value x, asterisk there, uh, such that <coughs> such that um, the function of x asterisk, the roots, will equal to 0. Okay? So that means, uh, for example, uh, let's say you have uh, uh, example, a eh, simple example. Let's say you have a quadratic function uh, fx equal to x squared plus x. That's it. Okay? So... Okay, one of the roots is, one of the roots is x equal to 0. Because when you replace um, uh, f, uh, uh, x with 0, then you'll get 0 squared plus 0. So that means it's 0. Okay, another one, one of the roots is, also x equals to minus 1 because okay when you replace uh, when you find the function of uh, f minus 1 what you're gonna get is minus 1 squared plus minus 1 so this becomes 1 plus minus 1 0 so the value x1 here makes f the function goes to 0. So this is one of the roots. This is one of the roots. Okay? And the important point here is this. Okay? Um, n degree polynomials has have sorry have n roots. Let's say for quadratic function, the degree is 2, you're going to have two roots. Okay, the roots might be real, might be imaginary, but it has two roots. Cubic um, polynomials, cubic functions will have three roots because it has it is a three degree polynomials. Okay, uh, if you have um, uh, polynomials of 100 degree, it's going to have 100 roots. Okay, so for quadratic functions, uh, how to find roots since how to find roots how to find the roots yeah the roots okay I think you are really familiar with with this already okay given uh, uh, given a function of fx equal to um, say ax plus bx plus c so the roots can be found uh, can be found by this formula you i think you learned this in spm if i'm not mistaken am i correct or not yes yeah, sir oh yeah okay cool so this is easy if you're given any uh, 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 quadratic functions uh, you can just use this formula and then find the roots okay I think I, I don't have to give you an example let's see if you want to if you're doing an example let's try this let's try um, fx equals to x squared plus x plus 1 okay so the roots are uh, minus 1 plus minus so 1 minus 4 times 1 plus 1 so it's it's that Okay, divided by 2 all right so here what you're going to have is minus half plus and minus that means you have two of an imaginary number minus 3 square root okay so that means your roots you have two roots plus minus 3 imaginary number 
So still you have two roots. Uh, one root is minus half plus three i, imaginary number, and minus half minus three i. Okay, so this is easy. Okay, this is easy. Um, let's look at this not so easy one. For example, a uh, cubic cubic functions. Okay, so how to find the roots? Okay, uh, for general cubic functions, I would like to recommend that you use any computational tool that you can use, MATLAB, Wolfram, because to find the roots of cubic functions by hand is quite, it's quite hard, yeah? It's quite hard. <coughs> um, uh, but um, for simple functions, you can, uh, you can uh, try some of this. Let me see. Let's uh, let's take a general cubic function. It's a general one. We don't know what it, what we don't know what the cofi coefficients are. Let's take this uh, c x plus t. Yeah, it's a general cubic functions with the coefficients not specified. Okay. So let me ask you this: um, for a cubic functions, how many roots are there? How many roots? Uh, yep. Yep. Correct. So three. So let's say uh, we don't know what those roots are, but let's uh, rep, um, replace it with that. Let um, a uh, alpha, beta, and gamma be the roots of the cubic functions above. Okay, we don't know what this is. We're gonna find alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, so um, one way you can find is okay. You notice that um, I have this here. Let me change the color so that uh, it will be easier for you to see. Uh, X. Uh, let's say the polynomials, poly uh, coefficients, coefficients, coefficients. Okay, so to let's say um, uh, so what you can do is. Alpha plus B plus you um, sum all the roots, the answer is going to be minus coefficient B over coefficient A. Okay, and if um, alpha times beta plus beta times gamma plus alpha times gamma, then your um, it will be equal to coefficient C over coefficient A. All right, and if you multiply all the roots together, it will become uh, minus D over A. Okay, so remember this is only for don't use this for quadratic or quintic functions, for example. Yeah, this is only. Uh, this is only for cubic functions. Okay. All right. So don't use this uh, rule for everything else. Okay. Let alpha, beta, gamma be the roots of cubic function above. Let's say whatever that is. And then the, uh, to find alpha, to find beta, to find um, uh, to find the roots. Okay, you can use this um, um, uh, the 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 you can find the roots uh, through your knowledge of the coefficients. Okay, so let's um, let's uh, do some um, examples. I want you to do this example yourself, but I'm just going to give you just one of the roots. Okay, let's say our functions is f x uh, equal to three x squared minus x uh, sorry tx cubed minus x squared minus 3x plus 1 okay uh, and then uh, one of the roots oops one of the roots is x equal to 1 okay so your job is to find the other two 
find the other two roots using this method right here using this one all right so one of the roots is uh, x equals to one so you can say hmm you can set alpha equals equal to one okay so you can need to find beta and gamma. So can you do it yourself and report back to me? Okay, sekarang kita ada sekarang ni, what we have right now is uh, these rules again. Okay, do you know what B, A, C, and D? Yes? Yes. Okay, so, alright. So, this is our A, this is our B, which is 1, this is our C, this is our D. Okay, so what do we have? Is we have this, eh? Um, well, let's use different colors. Let's use different colors. Um, alright. So we have the rule that um, uh, what you say one of the roots is x equals to one. That means one of alpha, beta, or gamma is one. So we know that one of these is one. So I just pick, I'll just pick alpha equals to one. All right. So let's write down the first one here. Let's write down the first one here. Alpha plus beta plus gamma is. 1 over 3 all right cool so we know alpha is 1 so we can padam that uh, 1 uh, which brings uh, minus 1 here which will become alamak what apa lah negative 2 over 3 eh 2 over 3 negative 2 over 3 tu lah so ini ajar advanced math tapi basic math dah kefil uh, anyway <laughs> uh, beta plus gamma is minus 2 over 3 Okay. Um, so the next one, uh, mana mana mana, uh, alpha uh, times beta. Okay. So ini alpha is one, so I can just write it as beta plus okay beta gamma. I don't know what plus alpha here is one, so I just put gamma. C is what? What is C? Minus three, minus three, over three. So minus three, over three is. Yes? Minus one. one. Minus one. one. Okay. Thanks. So last one, uh, since alpha is n, so what we got is equals to um, minus one over three. Allah, banyak yang minus. I hit banyak minus. Okay. So this is what we have. Eh? Everyone has this, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So let me simplify everything. Uh, so I put minus over three. Okay. Ha! Huh. Now the questions need to be okay. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this one right here. Um, so I know that be, gamma is equivalent to one over three beta. Correcto? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I know gamma, so I can replace the gamma in here. This one. So let me try this one. Beta plus beta times minus one over three beta uh, plus. Oh no, minus. Uh, oh, apa benda bunyi-nyanyi tu? Siapa yang pernah pasal mikrofon tu? Bunyi apa tu? Eh, bunyi apa tu? Tidur ke? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I have this. Uh, so right now, uh, I hate this because I have beta around here. So I multiply everything. Multiply everything by beta. So what I have here is beta squared plus um, hmm, what will happen to this one uh, beta I will be uh, this will become oh this will cancel out so this will become one uh, beta over three over three okay all right and then this one will become minus one over three and here will become beta to zero betul tak so if i can do this again uh, i hit the three down here so i multiply everything by three so what i've got is three beta squared 
plus 3 3 beta plus beta uh, so that one's become 2 beta minus uh, 1 1 okay cool so now what we have is a quadratic functions so I'll just use quadratic functions here so uh, the roots of quadratic functions is 4 minus eh, sorry 4 plus oh man this is embarrassing um, b oh not not b squared just b b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a so this will become um, uh, 2 plus minus 4 minus 4 times a which is 3 times that is minus 1 uh, 2 and 3 so I got 2 plus minus 16 uh, square root over 6 so this is 4 2 plus minus 2 plus 6 is 1 the other one is 2 minus 4 is 2 minus 4 is what? minus 2 minus 2 divided minus by two. 6 minus 1 over 3 so from here I get back so the other two roots is beta oh wait Yes. Okay, that one. Ta and gamma is one over one over three. Tada! Got it. Okay. All right. So now, um, we want to check. Uh, which? Uh, sorry, sorry. This is not finished yet. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, it's, it is finished. Okay, so we got the, the other two um, roots here. Okay. All right, I took this example from this textbook here. All right. Okay, so, oh, uh, wait. Um, so, we know that that uh, actually we're not finished that here I'm sorry I made a mistake here so what we know is only beta beta is equal either 1 or minus 1.3 okay 1 over 3 so let's test let's test because we cannot um, we know before that uh, from up here okay from up here whoa let me play hey, hey what happened to my oh there we go okay we know that alpha is uh, sorry gamma is equal to one minus one over three beta. Okay. All right. So you can replace one of that. Oh, one of three. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, minus one of three. For example, you will get one. Or you can replace. 1 over 3, let's try the other one 1, which will get minus 1.3 so, you have right now you have 3 roots of this one, ok I think I made a mistake somewhere someone's got to be minus hmm. oh <laughs> no one noticed this I missed the minus sign here. Oh man. Oh, let me do that again. Uh, I missed the minus sign there. Okay. Uh, minus, it's either minus 1 or plus 1 g. So it's for minus 1. This will become 1 over 3. And if it, this is, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 1 over 3. This will become one. So now we have three distinct distinct roots. We know that um, alpha uh, it cannot be this one because we have already assigned alpha to uh, a one to alpha. So we take this one out. We know that gamma is one over three. Okay, and if gamma takes that form, then beta is this one. So our answer is alpha is 1 as given, beta is 1 over 3 
and gamma is minus 1. So these are the roots of the cubic. Okay. So what do you think of this? solutions here you have to do so many steps one you have to do this you have to replace all this and then you have to do a quadratic uh, to solve for the roots okay i made a mistake there i didn't put the minus sign at the front uh nobody corrected me that so what i've got is uh, um, beta can be either minus one or uh, one over three or gamma also can be one over three or minus one so uh, or, or one here in this case but because we already assigned alpha to one so we can pick the other um uh, value for this one so uh, value for beta and gamma as long as it has three roots okay so just to make sure that that is correct let's see this i'm plotting here the same everyone can see this yeah Move from alpha yes okay oh, yes cool cool yes. so what i'm doing is here i'm plotting the wait a second this is not the plot Uh, what was what was the what was the thing just now minus and minus okay bear with me minus i want to plot it okay plot that graph for me please wolfram will take a few minutes a few seconds uh -huh. nice so what uh if i plot the graph that we 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 we, we seen just now this one here Okay, we plot this graph here. Okay, uh, what I'm seeing is the plot looks like this. So remember what I said: the roots are the values of x. The roots are the values of x when f when f x equals to zero or y equals to zero. So when y equals to zero, you can see where it crosses the line. It crosses at minus one. It crosses at one. And it crosses somewhere, I think it's 0.33 here. Okay. So does that correspond to our answer just now? Yes. Our roots are 1, 1 over 3, and minus 1. 1, 1 over 3, or 0 0.3, and minus 1. Hey, we are correct. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, so do you understand that? Maybe the, the 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 work that you have to show for cubic functions is is long, so that's why I told you for cubic functions you don't really use uh, you know you, you compute by hand you just use <laughs> calculator like this, okay? Do you understand that so far? Let me stop you there. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes. Ada soalan tak? Do you have any question? Before you ask me a question, let me show you another one. Okay, let's say I have a function, which is x squared minus 7x plus 12. What kind of function is this? Is it a cubic function or a quadratic function? Quadratic. Quadratic, quadratic. function, because it has only quadratic. the highest scale. Okay, so I plot this. I plot this function, okay? And I see that it crosses, it crosses at two points here three and four three yeah. okay so that means so it crosses means uh, y is zero it crosses that point so that means the roots of this function here this function the roots are three and four do you believe me or not <laughs> well if you look at graph you have to believe me so you can see the roots are at three and four okay uh, you don't believe me. Okay, let's say I uh, use Wolfram Alpha again. Find the roots of this function right here. Okay. Find the roots. Ah, yeah, the roots are 3 and 4. Here and here. If you still don't believe me and the calculator, you can use the quadratic function I've showed you before. You can use this uh, um, um, formula to calculate that. You will get 3 and 4 okay all right so that is for polynomial function uh the main thing that you are learning in this one here is not about quadratic it's not about the main thing that you no, need to know about polynomial function is this polynomials usually if it uh, come again in mean functions usually you are going to find the roots 
Okay, usually the problem related with polynomial function, you have to find the roots. So I give you an example, a super simple example of uh, quadratic functions and cubic functions. But most of the time, you are going to be dealing with polynomials of higher degree, which we don't have any analytical solutions like quadratic here. These analytical solutions to find roots, easy. Uh, I would say this is a, a, a procedure of how to find the roots of cubic functions. But let me advise you something. If you came up with, if you come up with any polynomial functions, and you were asked to find the roots, you know, use computational tools like your calculator or Wolfram Alpha or MATLAB or Python. Okay, don't waste your time using pen and paper. The reason I use you show you here is I want you to practice some of this uh, by hand. Okay, all right. 